The Pilatus PC-12NG aircraft features numerous tools to help pilots in the flight planning process. In addition to creating and managing a flight plan, the Primus Apex system also calculates performance information essential to a pilot in the flight planning process. Pre-flight performance entries are required in order to have advisory or coupled VNAV as well as fuel and time predictions. In this video, we'll show you how to enter performance data when creating a flight plan. The Altitude and Speed tab is used to enter the planned cruise speed, fuel flow, and initial cruise altitude. Default values from the aircraft database are shown in these fields, but can be changed. The cruise speed is used by the FMS for performance calculations and is shown as indicated airspeed, or Mach number. Changing the Mach field does not change the indicated airspeed. Once the speed is entered, the cursor automatically moves to the cruise fuel flow window. Enter the planned cruise fuel flow. This entry is necessary for performance calculations to be computed. Once the cruise fuel flow is entered, the cursor will automatically move to the initial cruise altitude window. This entry helps the FMS determine where the cruise phase of flight begins in order to change from climb performance calculations to cruise performance calculations. The altitude can be entered in feet or flight level. Two different performance modes can be selected. These modes determine how the performance data is calculated. The pilot speed fuel flow mode uses pilot entered cruise airspeed and fuel flow to make time and fuel predictions for the flight. Automatic adjustments are made for higher fuel flow during the climb. Entered and sensed winds, once airborne, are included in the ground speed predictions. The current ground speed fuel flow mode uses the current ground speed and fuel flow to perform predictions over the entire flight. The fuel and weight tab is used to enter the number of passengers as well as passenger and cargo weights. The aircraft basic operating weight is retained in memory and should be verified prior to each flight. The fuel on board is sensed by the fuel quantity system. To reset the fuel value, highlight the fuel window and select Clear on the MFC or select Fuel Reset on the Fuel System page. Passenger and cargo data must be entered to compute performance data. Enter the number of passengers on board and adjust the average weight per passenger as necessary. The pilot is not included in this count. The cargo weight is a required entry, even if it is zero. The white boxes are entry prompts and should not be confused with zeros. After entry of the cargo weight, select Compute to calculate the performance data. The gross weight and estimated time and route to the destination are displayed based on the data entered. Calculated performance data is displayed on the active flight plan window next to each active waypoint. This includes the estimated time and route to the next waypoint. To display an estimated time of arrival for each waypoint prior to departure, select the ETD field and enter the estimated time of departure in Zulu. Entering the estimated time of departure is also necessary in order to check the predicted rain when planning an RNAV GPS approach at the destination. This has been an overview of entering performance data on the Primus Apex equipped Pilatus PC-12 NG aircraft. Please refer to the Aircraft Flight Manual for more information.